How to remove lice using tea tree oil. Head lice are tiny wingless insects that only live on the human head, attaching themselves and their eggs to the hair shaft. Contrary to popular belief, head lice do not spread any disease, and they are not caused by poor hygiene. They are spread by close person-to-person -person contact. If you or your child winds up with head lice, it's often possible to treat the problem with tea tree oil. Recognizing and minimizing head lice infestations. Recognize the symptoms of head lice. Many things can cause an itchy scalp, and it's easy to mistake conditions such as dandruff for head lice. Use a fine-toothed comb to examine the hair and scalp for lice and nits. Live head lice are about the size of a sesame seed, between 2 to 3 millimeters long. Nits, or lice eggs, are usually yellowish-white and stick onto hairs near the scalp. They are slightly smaller than adult lice, too. Look for nits that are stuck to the hair shaft. Nits stuck to the hair shaft within one quarter inch of the scalp are the most likely to be viable, i.e., will hatch into lice. This is because head lice feed on tiny amounts of blood they draw from the human scalp. They also thrive on the warmth provided by your head. Nits that are further down the hair shaft are usually dead or already hatched. 3. Use a magnifying glass to examine the hair and scalp. Dirt particles and dandruff can often be mistaken for lice, so use a magnifying glass to determine whether there are live lice in addition to nits. If you don't see live lice and the only nits are further down the hair shaft from the scalp, the infestation is probably already over. 4. Look behind the ears and at the hairline. Lice and nits are often easier to see in areas where the hair is thinner. 5. Examine everyone in the household for head lice. Although they cannot fly or jump, head lice are extremely contagious and can easily infest everyone in a household. Head lice are most easily spread by sharing hair brushes, hats, or beds with an infested person. If you have children who sleep in the same bed or room, or who share clothing regularly, make sure you examine everyone for head lice. Put clean clothing on. If someone in your household has head lice, have them remove their clothing and put on fresh clothes. There may be some nits on their clothes, especially shirts, scarves, or hats. Wash household items used by the infested person. Head lice are not caused by poor hygiene. However, they can cling to fabric and household items and could spread from those items to other people, so it's important to clean and disinfect those items thoroughly. Machine wash and heat dry clothing, bed linens, hats, towels, and other fabrics that have come into contact with the infested person. Use hot water and the high heat drying cycle. If the items cannot be machine washed, seal them in a plastic bag and store them for two weeks. This will suffocate the lice. 9. Soak combs and brushes in very hot water a minimum of 130 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 to 10 minutes, or run them through a hot dishwasher cycle. Vacuum floors and upholstered furniture. Head lice cannot survive very long if they can't feed on humans, but vacuuming will help eliminate any lice that have fallen off a person and keep them from attaching to someone else. Treat everyone in the household at the same time. Anyone who has signs of lice infestation, or who shares a bedroom with the infested person, should be treated immediately. Otherwise, lice may remain in someone's hair and start another infestation. 